So every day someone will send me a message or they'll leave a comment saying that all I'm doing is spreading hyperbole, that I'm getting people all worked up over things that are never going to happen. And my argument is I'm pointing out the things that Donald Trump is saying, the things he says he will do in a second term. I'm pointing out the things that MAGA politicians are in agreement with him doing in a second term. I'm quoting Project 2025 where they're laying out exactly what they plan to do but yet people will say that it's me that's spreading the hyperbole. But we always have to remember that whenever they accuse us of something, it's because their side is doing it. And they are the absolute masters of fear and paranoia and hyperbole. And this next outburst, this latest outrage from MAGA is so ridiculous and so easily debunked, but we're gonna do it anyway. Now they're saying that when Trump was raided at Mar-a-Lago, when the FBI raided Donald Trump, that they could use deadly force if necessary. Oh my God. Take a look at this ridiculous clip from Jesse Waters. Bombshell in the Trump documents case. The FBI authorized the use of deadly force during the Mar-a-Lago raid. This according to documents filed by Trump's legal team. Agents in unmarked polo shirts planned to bring standard issue weapons, ammo, handcuffs, medium and large size bolt cutters, and even lock picking equipment as they prepared to go door to door at Mar-a-Lago. And they did, ransacking Melania Trump's bedroom along with Barron Trump's bedroom. The FBI also took extensive photographs of Melania and Barron's rooms for no apparent reason. Think about this for a second. Joe Biden sent men with guns to his political opponent's house and turned their bedrooms upside down. That's never happened in the history of the United States. And we've had some crazy presidents. This was the former first lady and a professional model. These people are sick. And Biden complains about his son's privacy, hunters. He had armed men rummage through Barron's bedroom. The FBI even allegedly had a medic on site in case someone was shot. Trump reacting, quote, wow, I just came out of the Biden witch hunt trial in Manhattan, the icebox and was shown reports that crooked Joe Biden's DOJ and their illegal and unconstitutional raid of Mar-a-Lago authorized the FBI to use deadly, lethal force. Now we know for sure that Joe Biden's a serious threat to democracy. He is mentally unfit to hold office, 25th Amendment. Now, people that do nothing but watch a steady diet of Fox News, they will see that and their heads will explode. But if they would just stop and think for a minute, folks, that's how raids work. I mean, it's a raid, and when, when, when your home is being raided, if you don't cooperate or if the agent feels threatened, they can use force when necessary. But you don't have to watch an old classic TV show or a movie to know that. All you really have to do is go to Google and do a quick search to the FBI's website, and you can find out that this is their protocol when doing raids. FBI special agents may use deadly force only when necessary when the agent has a reasonable belief that the subject of such force poses an intimate danger of death or serious physical injury to the agent or another person. See, the key words there are only when necessary. If the agent feels like that another agent's life, their life, or someone else's life is being threatened, then they can use deadly force only when necessary. So as long as Donald Trump and his family were complying with law enforcement, then everything should have been just fine, right? And ain't, aren't they the party that are all about back the blue? Aren't they the party that always says people should comply with law enforcement? When George Floyd had a knee in his neck and was begging to breathe, they said he should have just complied. When the police kicked down the door and Breonna Taylor was shot, they said she should have just complied. But when Donald Trump refused to hand over the documents to the point that they had to raid his house to get them back, then, oh my God, I can't believe that this possibility was on the table. It's on the table anytime the feds kick down a door. That possibility is always there, no matter who you are, no matter how high you rank in this world, that's the possibility if they kick down the door. But of course, here come the Marjorie Taylor Greens of the world, and she has to continue to spread her hyperbole with this bullshit. This is grounds for impeachment of Ray and Garland. Trump and team was cooperating the entire time with the FBI. Well, first of all, if they'd have been cooperating with handing over the documents, the FBI wouldn't have had to show it up in the first place. Was deadly force authorized against Biden for his documents? Well, no, because Biden cooperated and there was no point for uh, there to be a raid. Uh, were, the, were they going to shoot Secret Service, then President Trump, Melania, and Barron too? 
Speaker Mike Johnson fully funded the DOJ and FBI plus new building and tied our hands behind our backs to hold them accountable. We have the power of the purse and Johnson has handed the purse to Chuck Schumer. All of this is unforgivable. The only thing that is unforgivable is the absolute mockery that Marjorie Taylor Greene has made out of American politics, the mockery that Donald Trump has made out of our courts, our systems, our government, the office of presidency. These people are an absolute disgrace to American politics, and they're doing all of this. They're getting people so worked up with this fake outrage, they're doing it so that they can give themselves a pass for doing it later. Because when Donald Trump was asked about his team's remarks about assassinating political opponents, well, this is what he had to say. Tuesday that you should not be prosecuted or could not be prosecuted if you ordered Field Team 6 to kill a political Well, you're talking about a totally different case, the immunity. I say this, on immunity, very simple, if a president of the United States does not have immunity, he'll be totally ineffective because he won't be able to do anything because it will mean he'll be prosecuted, strongly prosecuted perhaps, uh, as soon as he leaves office by his, by the opposing party. He really didn't think that one through. So if a president has full immunity and can do anything he wants, then why are they constantly going after Joe Biden? Why are they trying to bring Joe Biden down? If a president has full immunity, then Joe Biden's in the clear, right? I mean, those are Donald Trump's own words. He's asked, should a president be allowed to assassinate a political opponent? He kind of done him a little dodge there so he could wiggle out of it later, but he said a president has to have full immunity. They have to be able to do whatever they need to do or they can't govern. Well, sorry, Donald, but that's not how the system works. We, we, have, a, we have an entire system in place and it works a certain way and he knew nothing about it. He knew nothing about the rules. He knew nothing about how it all worked because he thought he could go in there and run it like his businesses, which is straight into the ground. And that's what he did. All this stuff that they're doing and saying now is so that later they can say, but they did it to us. And what people will go along with it, but what they will fail to realize is that they got worked up over a bunch of fake outrage. The FBI can use deadly force only if necessary. That's common sense. But they spin this that this was all Joe Biden doing it to Donald Trump. So later, when Donald Trump comes out and does whatever he wants to do, they can say, well, they did it to us. But the truth of the matter is, they didn't do it to them. They were holding them accountable. And that's all that any of us here really wants to see is Donald Trump held accountable for what he's done. I hear people so many times say, how can this country heal? How can we move forward? Well, I don't want to see us just let it go. I hate when that happens. I hate when someone gets let off the hook and then, well, all right, let's just, let's just heal the country and let's all just forget that ever happened. If we don't hold Donald Trump accountable, what does it say to the next person that takes office? What does it say to the next person that puts their left hand on the Bible and raises their right hand and swears to protect, preserve, and defend the Constitution when Donald Trump did none of that? When Donald Trump said that he should be allowed to terminate it anytime he wants to? When Donald Trump got in the way of the peaceful transfer of power? Why should we ever, why would we ever have an inauguration again if a president has full immunity? If his argument is what it is, then what would be the need in ever having another election again? There wouldn't be because he's already saying he would like to be a dictator for one day. And people says, we're the ones spreading hyperbole. But you have to look at what they're saying. You have to look at what they're planning to do. And you have to see through this fake outrage that they bring up to get people worked up over nothing. That's what's happening.